Hi, my name is Natalie Nelson, and I'm the juror for this year's Art Farm exhibit and event. Yola Arts puts this on every year, and I was really honored to be asked to do this. And Art Farm is a long-standing program of Yolo Arts, and it brings artists and farmers together, and they do these wonderful farm visits. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorites that I've awarded, um, as well as just the, the artworks that are in the show. There's a lot of diversity here. Some people are photographers. We even have a textile artist and a lot of painters. Um, and some of these were actually made on site at the farms themselves. So it's a really interesting view of farm life in Yolo County. Now, a lot of us who live in Yolo County may never have the opportunity to see this, do this, um, so it's really exciting. So I encourage you to come by and see the artworks while they're on display at the Barn Gallery. So first of all, I'd love to talk about one that really captivated my attention. You can see we have so many here that are gorgeous views of agricultural life. I really enjoyed uh, the ones with the almond trees in bloom. Um, this one in particular I thought was just a beautiful painting um, in terms of the colors and the lines. Um, and this artist, Linda Didis, um, just has a great way of framing the space and creating texture so that you can really see those blossoms. And I think we all know that in Yola County when all the trees bloom and there's all these people going out, who aren't from around here usually, who have to take pictures in front of them. Can be quite a distraction for farmers but for artists it's really an interesting um, point of view i think that she shows um, up at the top i have two award winners i think these are great paintings they both show flowers um, obviously this one is a little bit of a simpler composition it's just a couple hollyhocks um, but i really really like this one this is by d rosenberg and the way she's done that blue sky with no clouds and just a very simple point of view, I think is really dramatic. And I love those diagonals of her composition. Really forces you to look at the flower. Right here next to it, Dee Conway has a really interesting kind of layered photograph where it looks like she's taken two images and merged them. So you have this, um, it's, it's almost like a bush in the center, very um, uh, central. And then all around it, you see these sunflowers. That's another plant, of course, we're known for. Our sunflowers now are still in the fields. They don't look like this anymore, but it's such a sign of kind of YOLO abundance and what we do here. Down here, I wanted to go past. I have some wonderful photos right here or, or paintings. And then I do have a uh, watercolor painting. We had quite a few watercolors. This one is by Allison Spreadborough, and she loves to paint wet onto wet, which gives it this very soft, almost feathery look. And this tree actually has been done by at least one other artist here. So it's always interesting to see how different artists show the same subject. It looks like a giant oak tree, and of course, oaks were, were a, a lot of importance to the Native Americans. And you can see how it just dominates this landscape. There's very little to see other than the grassy foreground and a few tiny little telephone poles. So it's a very nice composition, very beautifully done. Over here, we're, we're going kind of fast. Lucille Van Omering did this wonderful close-up of a hay uh, bundle. This one captivated my attention when I first came into the barn gallery. I think because you were wondering, is it a hay barrel? Is it a painting? Is it a photograph? What is it? Um, and it is a photograph. Uh, it is really close up of this kind of block of hay. And you can see there's smaller blocks of hay in the background. And again, this is another yellow view that we've all seen if we live around here. But it's so dramatic and so um, kind of characteristic of the area. And I love the point of view that she takes with her photograph. So moving on, another wonderful landscape you can see this is kind of an overview of one barn, it looks like, and a couple other buildings and maybe a little house here. And this is by Rachel Klein, and her work oftentimes has this sense of quiet and peacefulness. Um, she's a wonderful painter who really does glazing so well that you can really see how soft and feathery all those edges are, the foliage on the trees. And then the majority of the painting is actually just sky, which is, is an interesting thing to focus on, you know, our, our beautiful skies. Of course, they don't always look beautiful, but in this landscape, they certainly do. 
Moving down here, I have David Nassiter's landscape. Um, David does some really dramatic skies in his photos. He usually has some sense of drama, whether it's a solo rose or a sunflower. And here you can really see there's some sort of storm that's brewing. The black and white of his photograph really takes away any sort of extraneous detail. So you focus on this piece of machinery here. I'm not sure what this does, but it looks so alone. Like who left this out here? So you really focus on, there's no one here working. And of course we're missing the workers who are so important in the fields. And you, you see rows and rows of trees. This is some orchard, um, not sure exactly where, but he makes us want to know all that information. Uh, another photograph that really took my attention, uh, this is one of those uh, subjects that several artists have done. We have another truck here. But this photograph takes the point of view, it's almost like a fisheye lens, so that the truck bumper is really jutting out at you, which makes it really interesting. It almost looks like the vehicle is smiling. And it certainly makes you want to know more about this rusty truck. What was it used for? Everything around it is kind of barren. You just see a couple boards. So artists have to choose what information to include and what to take out. And I think Chris does a great job of really focusing it on just this solo truck set against this really beautiful blue sky. Laura Sullivan's piece focuses on two hands that are holding a small plant. And one reason I thought this was really interesting is I haven't seen anyone really incorporate figures into their work. And Laura's charcoal is really beautifully done. She really models the hands and you can see that they're definitely somebody who's worked in the fields. They have a lot of texture to them and um, it also just this tiny, tiny little root. And again, that's just the focus of Yolo County is growing things. And what is more apropos than a tiny plant? I loved putting it on a map. Lauren sometimes does this with her work where she puts it on an older map. Um, this one actually has Davisville still printed on it, Sacramento. So it's really interesting the way also she's burned around the edges. So it really creates this interesting composition. And last but not least, I have to mention Susan von Barstol, who Susan does these beautiful um, renditions of horses. She's really well known for this. And I think it's such a charming uh, point of view because she has a horse eating and she's just a master at showing all the different details of the, the fur, the eyes, the way the horse is posed. It's really challenging to paint horses. And then you see this tiny, tiny cat. And so it's a great composition because your eye kind of leads up here and you wonder, you know, is there a story there? What's going on between the two of them? Um, so it's really, really sweet portrayal of kind of farm life. And this is one of the only ones where we actually have animals or livestock in them. Now I'm gonna move on to the two award winners. Um, the first one was for Plain Air and I've never done plein air, but I've been told it's very challenging, particularly if it's a windy day, as it often is in YOLO. This one is a, of a sunflower field, and I believe there's something else growing here. I can't quite tell what it is, um, but it's so beautiful because of the mountains, uh, the coastal range and the backdrop, and then these lovely clouds. So she has an amazing amount of detail in it, and I kept going back to, she did this, in plein air. So she either did it from a study or she sketched it or maybe she did an oil sketch and then she took it maybe back home and finished it. But the majority would have been inspired by this visit to this farm. And I just think it's a beautiful rendition of the sunflower fields here. So I hope you can get a sense of the scale too. It's a larger piece. Uh, right above it, I chose a photograph by uh, Donald Satterley and this one is of the juncture between road 89 and road 26. And you might think, well, that's kind of unusual because really you have the road here, you have some farm buildings, like a silo in the back. Um, again, it's, it's something we see all the time, but I think it's so interesting the way he chooses to portray this kind of clashing of things, whether it's kind of old and new, like the stop sign really looks new and it's in color. But the background is kind of sepia toned, almost like an old photograph. So we get the sense that we're captured in time. And of course, you know, when you live out in the country, your, your mailboxes are on the side of the road and 
Um, and I love the details of the birds on this telephone wire. There's just so many interesting details to it. So someone who's not an artist might just pass it by and say, well, that's not interesting. But he really saw the potential of this location to really capture so many different things about life in, in Yolo County. So this is why I chose it to be um, kind of the cream of the crop winner because I think it's a really interesting point of view and a lovely photograph. So I think that's it for me right now. I hope you come in and see the show and thank you to all the artists who entered and all the sponsors who helped support the event. And thanks again to Yolo Arts for asking.